from our previous video you know how to plot the unit step in MATLAB now in this video I am going to discuss about how to draw the unit ramp or how to write the code for unit ramp signal in MATLAB see before that I will show you one thing suppose x equal to 0 colon 4 okay I am writing in command window so when you run this see 0 1 2 3 4 1 array of numbers we can get with equal spacing okay now suppose you do one thing x star x that means you want to multiply each numbers with each one then if you run see here you can get one error why the error is getting see incorrect dimension for matrix multiplication see this line incorrect dimension for matrix multiplication why this is happening because matlab always deals with matrix so when you write x star x it will understand it has to multiply one this is what is the dimension of the matrix this is one two three four five five rows one column okay sorry one row five column so this is uh, one cross five matrix and when you multiply x with x that means one cross four matrix is multiplied with another one cross four matrix but it is not possible now because matrix for matrix multiplication dimension is not satisfied here so if you want to multiply element by element suppose x into x means if you want to zero with zero one with one third element with third element that means two with two three with three and four with four that means you if you want to multiply uh, element by element then you have to give one dot before multiplication see here x dot star x see now our array was basically 0 1 2 3 4 so when 0 multiplied by 0 first element we are getting as 0 when 1 multiplied by 1 we are getting 1 2 multiplied by 2 we are getting 4 3 multiplied by 3 we are getting c instead of 3 we are getting 9 and uh, 4 multiplied by 4 we are getting 16 so for multiplication with element by element in an of an of two arrays we have to give dot star operator okay instead of star so basic idea is if both the expression of either side of the multiplication operator is array or any one means suppose if you write 3 star x then see it will not show any error that means when you multiply scalar with one array x is basically one array when you multiply scalar with an array it will not show any error because 3 multiplied by matrix it was 0 1 2 3 4 it becomes 0 3 6 9 12 with every element 3 is multiplied but if both the expressions of uh, if both the expressions of either side of the multiplication symbol are array then you have to give dot star operator that is like this dot star operator for element by element multiplication i hope the concept is clear to you now just press clc now from this concept we can write the ramp operation okay code for ramp so the first step as we know n equal to minus 20 colon 20 just we have denoted this because matlab in matlab it is not possible to draw a signal from minus infinite to infinite this thing you know from my previous video so now what is the basic definition of ramp we will plot the ramp with the help of unit step because we know the relation between ramp and unit step that is ramp signal is equal to unit step signal into n simple case okay if you multiply unit step with n we get ramp why because the basic definition of ramp is a ramp of uh, means ramp signal is equal to n in discrete domain that means when n equal to 0 ramp is 0 when n equal to 1 ramp is 1 when n equal to 2 ramp is 2 when n equal to 3 uh, ramp is 3 and so on and for n less than 0 it is 0 this is the definition of ramp now now what is unit of n unit n is equal to 1 for n greater than equal to 0 and 0 for n less than 0 so unit of n into n that means that the expression is basically n for n greater than equal to 0 and 0 for n less than 0 you know this from basic concept of signals that is ramp of n equal to unit of n into n okay so we will use that concept so just write ramp n equal to unit 
unit n what is the code for unit n first i will write unit unit n star n now you tell me is the code is correct no first of all one obvious mistake is unit n is not defined so for what we have to write instead of unit n we have to write the code for unit n what is the code i told you n greater than equal to zero so write this first now see this is the multiplication symbol and see the both side of the multiplication symbol n greater than equal to zero this is basically one array and in the right hand side also n this is also one array so as both the side of the multiplication symbol is array so you have to give dot operator for bit by means element by element multiplication that's all now stem stem n comma ramp n why i have used stem instead of plot because we use plot for continuous time and we use stem operator for discrete domain okay stem done now axis right axis first bracket open third bracket x limit give minus 20 positive x means minimum x is minus 20 positive maximum x suppose give 30 no it is better to give 20 minimum y give uh, minus 10 because it will not go in minus direction and maximum y give here n equal to 20 that means obviously up to 20 it will go so what we will give let us give 20 only okay it will look good so that's okay and x level x level is what first bracket open inside single quotation time sample done and y level y level is what amplitude is the code is done yes probably we will get no error just copy this code paste the code in command window and see this is basically the ramp signal whatever you have studied in your theory course see ramp when for n greater than equal to 0 it is equal to n when n equal to 0 it is 0 when n equal to 1 the ramp amplitude is 1 when n equal to 2 ramp amplitude is 2 when n equal to 3 ramp amplitude is 3 and so on it is going and for n less than 0 all the values are 0 so this is how this is the simple code to write the ramp operation in MATLAB that is ramp of n is equal to unit of n dot star n that means ramp of n is equal to n for n greater than equal to 0 okay so i hope the concept is clear to you if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section okay this is all for my this video if you find this video helpful for your preparation please like share and comment and subscribe my channel for more upcoming videos related to electronics and communication engineering thank you